Across the globe, environmental issues dominate today's headlines. In response, nations, companies, and everyday people are changing the way we do things to help preserve and protect our world for the future. I'm Greg Gumbel. Whether it's cleaner air, sustainable development, or energy efficiency, join me as we span the globe to bring you the stories that truly matter. Welcome to our planet. From paper to plastic bottles, one of the first and most important changes we've made in order to reduce waste was the invention of recyclable products. Take a look at this next story. Despite its long history, there are many myths that surround recycling. From what happens to recyclables after they are collected to the quality of recycled products, the public's lack of recycling education has been the root of many misconceptions. One of the biggest misconceptions is that recycling costs more than it's worth. Unfortunately, people often see recycling as an expense and they don't consider the value of the material. Recycling is an investment in saving resources and can actually generate revenue. The Office of the Federal Environmental Executive estimates that recycling and remanufacturing industries account for approximately one million manufacturing jobs and more than 100 billion in revenue. Recyclers pay competitive pricing and have exceeding demand for scrap materials. Every landfill across America buries millions of dollars in recyclables every year. While our nation's economy is struggling, we are all sitting on top of buried treasure. In addition to the revenue streams that are lost due to unclaimed recyclables, recycling can also help to stabilize our economy by maintaining or lowering consumer product goods and even gas prices. Recycling lowers the price of consumer goods and gas by using fewer resources than virgin production. Ultimately, the long-term economic advantages translate into value for consumers, who then spend less on products and packaging. Using recycled resin to manufacture goods also helps to break our dependence on foreign oil. It saves energy and uses less petroleum. Established in 1981 as a solution to the disposal of polypropylene automotive battery casings, KW Plastics sold the resin back to the manufacturers and closed loop recycling was born. Well, essentially, a product designed for recyclability can be reprocessed indefinitely. A common myth is that high quality products can't be recycled into high quality applications. But the reality is that a shampoo bottle sitting on the shelf or your car battery can be made with 100% recycled plastic and you'd never know the difference. Our applications prove that recycled resin is comparable or even better than its virgin counterpart in quality, environmental, and economic measures. Our Ford recycling team back in the early 1990s was looking for reliable recycled plastic materials that we could use in our vehicles so we could help the environment and not sacrifice durability, quality, or reliability. We were fortunate to be able to find KW Plastics in Troy, Alabama, who was able to provide us recycled plastic materials that met our specifications and provided us a cost reduction. In 2003, KW Plastics announced its latest division, KW Container, where all plastic paint containers are molded from 100% resin and 100% recyclable. KW Container's new all-plastic paint can actually eliminates the, the rusting, the denning, the skinning issues typically associated with the traditional metal container. We're actually working with paint manufacturers to set up closed-loop recycling programs so that used containers can now be returned and recycled into new paint cans. Collectively, KW Plastics is the world's largest plastics recycler, diverting nearly 500 million pounds of plastic out of landfills each year. In order to continue to supply KW Plastics with quality feedstock, public education on the importance of recycling is essential. Well, as the world's largest plastics recycler, KW plans to continue to be a leader for our industry. Through our recycling associations, we'll continue to educate and raise awareness of recycling on local, state, and national level. Uh, we'll be active in supporting legislation that incentivizes recycling and doing whatever we can to keep millions of dollars in valuable materials outside the landfill.